Bro, I thought you were starting your diet today. Yeah, I'm starting one of those high protein, you know, a lot of fat and very low carb diets. I saw on the internet that if you do that high protein diet, you're going to get really fat. No, man, it doesn't work that way. I heard that high protein diets are going to damage your kidneys. I hope you enjoyed that introduction, <laughs> and uh, believe me, it was a lot of fun to make. So we're going to go over two myths about a high-protein diet. No, it will not screw up your digestion. I'm going to preface that with if you are eating uh, the right amount of fiber, and there will be a video at the end of this to uh, make recommendations on that, and it will not harm your kidneys. I will put the PMID of a really good research paper that goes over how high protein diets uh, will not damage your kidneys. Today is starting week two of my cut. So let's talk about what I'm doing for my diet. So I am now in caloric deficit. So I've dropped my calories by about 500 that I would normally consume with my baseline so I know how much my body should be using and I'm dropping that amount of calories and with the extra cardio that I'm doing that should bring down my level of body fat so right now I'm going to do a high protein kind of a medium fat and very low carb diet I have done carb cycling in the past where I'm off of all carbs for three days one day with you know kind of moderate carbs, and cycle back and forth on that. And I might start doing that again probably month two, two and a half, just depending upon how my results are going. Since I'll be on a high-protein diet and there's not going to be a whole lot of vegetables, I know I need to use Fibrolyze by Species Nutrition. I have been having problems with elevated LDL cholesterol because I have been on a, a kind of a high di higher fat diet and uh, I haven't been doing cardio so my cholesterol is kind of up but that was kind of expected during the off season as I put on weight. <laughs> so uh, I'm counting on the Fibrolyze to help me pull down my LDL cholesterol. If you're enjoying this content, please make sure that you like and subscribe and follow me on my Instagram page at Masters Muscle. And I also have my Patreon page. So if you would like to help sponsor me for this competition season and get even more detailed information about nutrition and supplementation, then I would ask you to take a look at my Patreon page and I'll put the link right there for you. Also to help me with my protein level, uh, I'll be using my old school labs, um, Vintage Brawn. This is the uh, rich chocolate flavor, and I have to admit, I really do like it. I really like these old school lab products, so uh, I would appreciate it. If you need a protein supplement, go to uh, Old School Labs and use my code Masters Muscle, uh, and you will get a percentage off of, I think it's 15% uh, off your purchase. Why do you get less body fat on a high protein diet? Well, the answer is that proteins are made up of amino acids. Groups of amino acids turn into peptides and uh, bunches of peptides turn into proteins. And these are broken down into the body. Now, into their smallest forms, amino acids, and then get broken down into enzymes, uh, amino acids literally cannot be converted into body fat, into lipids or carbohydrates. It's like saying that I can take a big pen and turn it into a bar of gold. It is the wrong molecular structure. That is the reason why when you're on a high protein diet, you literally, it is almost impossible to gain body fat. Now, if you're eating ridiculous amounts of fats and carbs and you're in a, a huge caloric deficit, I mean a huge caloric surplus, <laughs> still make those mistakes, uh, you, know, you can gain body fat. But when you're on a diet, then you're in caloric deficit 
And that high protein diet with, uh, you know, kind of a moderate amount of fat for your energy and a very low amount of carbohydrate is a good suggestion, especially for someone who is a competitor on a cut. When you're on a low carb diet, uh, it's important to think about meal timing when it comes to your workouts. I prefer to work out in the morning. Generally, I'll work out start working out somewhere around 7.30 to 8.30. Uh, only once a week will I work out in the late afternoon. But in the morning, I want to make sure that I am getting those fats that I'm going to use for energy. So I might have four to six eggs and uh, maybe an avocado, something that's a little higher in fat. Then after my workout, in my next meal, that's probably where I'm going to have my carbs so I can get a little more sustained energy. I don't care about it so much as far as the timing if I'm working out late in the afternoon. All I care about is just getting all my meals under my belt so I have as much energy as possible and I don't want to go to the gym feeling hungry. I hope you've learned a lot in this video and if you need help with your nutrition, you know, you can contact me. I am a certified nutritionist. I specialize in sports nutrition. You know, reach out to me and I'll be happy to help you. I do have online services for nutrition and personal training. Once again, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like button. It really does a lot for the algorithm. And until next time, this is Yaakov Baram. Look at me. I've got girl boobies now.